Sambil paadlaw yan, na yun ang nasadya, guru, guno, in kaya bulatan. I saw so many people burn. I think there is civilians people. And the result will be death and blood. The land has been made to absorb bombs, blood, and dead bodies. Di penjara kita sangat terbatas ya saat itu. Uh, hampir membaca buku pun tidak diperkenankan ketika itu ya. Syukurlah HRC datang membawa buku-buku. Itulah kami. Nah, di situ saya kemudian banyak uh, belajar dan banyak mengetahui informasi-informasi tentang HRC yang lebih jauh lagi. Ya, khususnya tentang uh, bagaimana dan apa sebetulnya yang diinginkan oleh SRC terhadap kami-kami ini para tahanan ini. And what is the problem now is even some of the Muslims they do not understand Islam itself. <laughs> If you compare the Islamic uh, law and the uh, international humanitarian law, we can find that this international humanitarian law is based on the Lahai or the Geneva Conference. But of course, some of this hope should be made from the teaching of religion. Even though there is the person cut our body into pieces, not by that we give the rise to the hatred to that person. The Buddha himself will not allow. Kesatuan-kesatuan masyarakat hukum adat inilah yang sudah memiliki hukum-hukum tersendiri. Hukum-hukum adat yang berangkat dari uh, tuntunan para leluhurnya. Uh, if we want to attain peace in the world, we should start uh, promoting peace among religions. When I start working and forming a Buddhist monk network on social development, uh, that start with uh, started with the, the issues, you know, where people in Thailand are uh, having a problem with the government, uh, and there are many issues, of course. Uh. Many problem actually in Southeast Asia. Uh, especially is about the uh, unsettling or the uh, national and regional security because of uh, we are pretty much influenced by the uh, colonialization and then how people are moving from different border and then they grew and then have a different uh, economic opportunity so this uh, the social change uh, changes then the economic uh, distribution and equality and poverty it's uh, also driven the uh, conflict in the region there's always as i see it from here the uh, big difference in um, ethnical, racial, of course, also religious respect. Every country has her own uh, problems. Kemudian, uh, sampai saat ini, uh, memang sebagai warga negara yang masih mempertahankan uh, ajaran uh, leluhur kami sendiri 
masih banyak tantangan yang kami hadapi meskipun uh, Indonesia sudah 72 tahun kemerdekaan tapi uh, hak-hak sebagai warga negara masih belum sepenuhnya kami dapatkan saya banyak merenung ya, tentang uh, konflik-konflik yang terjadi yang menjadi penyebab mungkin saya uh, ditangkap di Filipina saya tahu betul bahwa apa yang dituduhkan pada saya kasus yang kami hadapi saat itu itu kami tidak melakukan menjadi alasan penangkapan itu tetapi saya ditangkap karena mungkin mereka melihat peran-peran saya atau keterlibatan saya dalam konflik-konflik yang terjadi pada saat itu baik di Ambon maupun di Kosovo itu. Nah saya banyak merenung. Mungkin banyak hal-hal yang uh, mungkin salah dalam apa yang saya lakukan. in criminal or civil case in my country, including then often repeat my post news item linking me to the bombing of the Philippine Embassy in Jakarta. Remember, the People Power Revolution was in 1986. So I was there in the transition and it was very violent where I was. It was in Davao City. Every day there would be killings. The, the, the search for peace is quite important and it remains a very, very uh, important challenge in Mindanao. The, <clears throat> because there's conflict between the government and the Moro Islamic Liberation Front, together with the Moro National Liberation Front. There's also conflict between the government, the military, and the, the New People's Army of the Communists. But the conflict in Mindanao is not limited to those uh, vertically related conflicts. You also have conflicts uh, based on resources, mining. The division was a political division into provinces, and then later on, more divisions took place into provinces, North Cotabato, then Maguindanao, uh, and then another division in South Cotabato, it's South Cotabato in Sarangani province, and then another division in our area, Sultan Kodarat province, so there are now five provinces in that, uh, where originally there was only one province. The, the Regional Human Rights Commission is basically mandated to investigate human rights violations in the autonomous region. Its mandate is just like the same as the National uh, Human Rights uh, Commission of the Philippines. But we are independent from the Commission on Human Rights. We are likewise independent from the regional government. And basically, most of the incidents that we are investigating is uh, rooted on armed conflict. Uh, every time we hear, we learn that there is an armed conflict in an arm, or uh, for example, in Manindana, our special investigators go down and investigate uh, human rights violation. Both conflicts in Eastern Indonesia happened in places where a formerly Christian Protestant majority became a minority by Muslim migration. Not a planned migration because Indonesians, Indonesia is full of migrants everywhere and then it can become dangerous. We had such conflicts in Kalimantan, we had it in South Sumatra. But um, I think there is a cultural thing. For me, I believe that there is no religion that is promoting uh, conflict. It's not uh, a principle under any religion to promote uh, conflict. The, the problem is not a religion's problem. I think since uh, about uh, politics, I think 
Because our religions they not teach the the burn the house, uh, the the innocent people. I think uh, we should educate the people. This uh, in our place a lot of kidnapping. It's very it's very bad. When you look at at all holy books, Bibles, there are always things that you could interpret as doing war or bringing peace. And this is something that you could escalate, especially when you're talking about power and you're talking about politics. Of course, you say the others are our enemies. It's not the religion per se, but the human who claim religions as, as their reason or the causes. All religions teach us how to be loving each other. So it doesn't make sense uh, if we say that religion is the cause of the conflicts. Especially for the religious leaders, they have to uh, sit together, they have to talk, they have to have the dialogue and they have to, to find out the solutions and of course they have to bring up what is good in the religion. If we look it's, uh, into this issue, I mean uh, the situation in Southern Park very deeply we can see that it is not the issues of uh, religion because people can live still can you know in many many uh, part of uh, Southern Thailand they still can live together you know, and they protect one another. We are talking about dialogue of words. It's not just table dialogues. It's not just talking uh, uh, theological things on the table, but we are talking about how we could work together. It is really high time for us to do interfaith and be sure that we can affect the people that are making the uh, government policies. So why don't we do interfaith with the people in the Congress because they are responsible in the legislation, okay? And why don't why, why can't we not forge uh, uh, interfaith with the with the rebel group, for example, okay? So if we really mean to to create an impact, I think better start uh, from the from the grassroots. I believe that if Every religionist will understand the teaching of his religion. The people of the book, if they understand, they understand the uh, message of the Bible, there will be no, <laughs> no, no trouble. As the Muslims also, if they really stick to the uh, teaching of the Quran and the Sunnah, no, there will be no trouble. I would like to examine how much we spend for the military and maybe Easily, one-third of that could be transferred to enhance education, especially in the far-flung areas where the young people are recruited, uh, vulnerable to recruitment, to taking up arms. Health, of course. Um, how can you study if you do not have a, a full stomach? protecting against suffering. There are four values, uh, humanitarian values that we have. Uh, humanity, neutrality, independence, and service. I think uh, service. You know, those four uh, values that your organization is, uh, is trying to work from are also values that uh, the, the Catholic faith uh, are working from and trying to infuse into the work of, of uh, humanitarian work or, or the peace process itself. In the humanitarian principle, you just help without asking, are you Muslim, are you Buddhist, or are you anything else, or are you agnostic? You just help the, the person's 
that are victimized. Not looking at whether they are from this particular fraction or that particular fraction. So we are totally neutral in our uh, distribution. So the need itself, it's need to be addressed, not uh, the based on uh, the right of the donors or the right of the people who give, but the right of the people of the, uh, the affected people. Hatred is uh, not seized by hatred. Love alone seeds hatred. So that means we should have a loving kindness for everyone. And according to Buddhism, we are all friends. Kamu, pengajik sin Islam, ingkatan manusia, subay siya pag-addatan, subay siya pag-martabbatan, subay siya halgaan. Sabab, ini, in agama Islam, nagdara siya message humanity. Kala ta'ala, wa ma arsalna ka illa rahmatan lil alamin. Serta hanya di dalam manusialah punya kemampuan untuk mengendalikan uh, dan mempertimbangkan apa yang baik dan buruk di dalam makhluk yang lain tidak. Nah, mengevaluasi diri dan itu menjadi karakteristik yang harus kita pertahankan sebagai sejatinya manusia. Itu menjadi modal. All these Geneva Conventions, one, two, three, four, think there is no. I think there's no opposition from from what the the Bible says. I mean, I mean, from the beginning to end, God wants these people to take care of. I mean, His people to take care of of even those who are different, but not also different, but who are weak. And I think one of the worst of humanity is to kill those who are helpless or to make use of those who are weak. Who really suffer? It's the civilians, it's the children, and most of them women. Okay? And we also found out uh, very high mortality, maternal mortality, infant mortality. Yang paling bagus kita mengatakan sebenarnya tidak ada konflik <laughs> itu hal yang terbagus kan. <laughs> Tapi jika konflik itu terjadi, inilah resiko dari sebuah konflik. Warga-warga sipil kemudian menjadi korban dari konflik tersebut. If you are not allowed to torture anybody, how much more for yourself? And of course, let us say the dead bodies of the enemy. You have to respect as humanity. I remember right in a hadith, tradition of the Holy Prophet, once a Jew, a funeral of a Jew passing by, the Holy Prophet stood up, he respected the passing by. He knew that it was a Jew. <laughs> he knew that it was not a Muslim, but he respected us human beings. <laughs> and then if you can find any corpse, whether you do not know, whether he is a Muslim or not. And then you have to bury him. Yes, properly. Otherwise, you have uh, abandoned the respect for humanity. Di na kita makaiyan wairun lingong sindunya. In whole world, aong sa jalingo. Aong sa jalingo sa, bang aong bono, bang man nasig. Dini, in wairun lamod. Sababin, ICRC atau HIL malago to din bi mga ini challenge kanila as a muslim i did not know about the red cross i only did know red cross is like crusade but then what is good because the geneva convention it's already uh, i mean signed by all states whether it is christians muslim or buddhists or hindus or and they agreed together all of them the Geneva Convention, the Human United Nations Charter of Human Rights are valid in terms of 
they are based on the natural law. Respect for life is one of the most important uh, values there. Wairun siya sulang pa amuin islamic pamando islamic biyayan na timabang in biyakataan wala si muslim islamic country timabang sabab malingkat in message sin sin amuin na HIL min si ICRC makug makuyag tuod ako minsan wairun tungod tumabang sabab si buod ay message na to si buod ay message sin ARC ICRC HIL iban si niyang anangan na mo amuin in na mga tao wairun langud Amoy na di sila mabiktim sin na may armed conflict yung panganan. We refuse to talk to each other. Like, if we have interfaith, we should have intrafaith, right? Okay, so Muslims these days are celebrating much of our differences and labeling people like, ah, you're Shia, you're Wahhabi, you're uh, Kharijites, you're Kawarij, you're extremists, all this labeling. It did not produce the peace that we need in the Muslim Ummah, but rather uh, it, it, it uh, divided us. And who are benefiting from this? Well, look at uh, what is happening in, in, in the Middle East, for example. And my fear, we will be importing this, this uh, kind of like mentality here in the Philippines. Only. Several years ago, uh, a bomb exploded right in front, right under the a roast pig in that shop across the street. And then I was celebrating mass at the time. And uh, one of the passengers who were killed, uh, five, of, five, five people were killed, one of the passengers of a jeepney went down the jeepney and was hit by a shrapnel of the bomb uh, here. And he died at the front of the church, in the gate of the church. I'll show you where it is. The young boy died here. Especially for the fundamentalists, which now increasing. But actually, that is not not uh, just only just few people who really don't understand. In my understanding, who really don't understand their own religion, the essence of their own religions, and then they become exclusive, they become fundamentalists, and then so that that cause the conflict, that cause the violence that happens. I think it is high time for us to to realize that when we do forum, we gather people in in a room with good facilities. The question is after this forum and seminar, what will we do? Okay, and I think we have to bring the interfaith activities to the grassroots. Okay, why don't we talk to the driver? Why don't we talk to the vendor? To the fisherman? It is where you know we can we can really get the the, the real picture of, of of what is really happening on the ground. But where are we? Okay, where are we? You know, and and this is I think the first thing that we we must have creating a space you know for discussion. More people doing good things 
that will be beneficial for the society and the world. Finding other ways to resolve conflicts. Finding other ways to talk about the value of other groups. Finding value in people of different cultural traditions. Even finding value in, in people of other ideologies. If, we, if they understand the, real, understand the real teaching, the real doctrine and their own religion about this uh, love and wisdom, compassion and uh, humanity, so I think that kind of uh, like fundamentalism and so on uh, will not happen. Reducing conflict is bringing hope to, to those who become victims because the victims of, of conflicts, not those who are bringing swords or, 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 or crying for, for war or, or something like that, but the people, I mean the real people, and they still have hearts, especially in the communal conflict, and they still have a relation with one another, and bringing hope to these people that peace is still there, and peace can come sooner or later. And by working together, by coordinating our actions, uh, we will understand better uh, the, the, the other religions. And once we understand better, I think we will find out ultimately that actually more similarities than differences in the religion. I think that's the future of humanity.